I had y'all waiting long enough for a new video. You're done? I had y'all waiting long enough for a new video, but I got y'all today. What am I gonna do to the max? You already know I'm always messing with the max. Oh, the trash cans in the thing. I'm today I'm gonna show you guys how to bypass your parking brake so therefore you can go and play videos as you're driving inside of your maximum you don't want to scratch you know your radio especially if you got this looking all nice and stuff so to take that out all you have to do is wedge a flat head in between right here i might be able to do this with my nails there you go wedge i'll put it back wedge like a flat head or something right in between and then it slides right down you get access to this silver pin right here, which is the horseshoe pin. And you just pry that out as well. You pry this out as well. This bad boy just comes right off like that. I really need a new one, but not yet. Not yet. I don't have a pry tool, so I'm using a spoon. Okay. You want to go ahead and get in these crevices like so and bro chill out pop pop it out really slow i'm gonna go all around there we go make sure once you can get like your finger behind it, just make sure you go all around with your finger and pop remaining clips. There we go. In the back, there's gonna be one of your AC vent lines. So go ahead and, oops. Unclip everything. Just remember the positioning of stuff. You're gonna wanna remove these two screws. We have one right here, one right here. So we can go ahead and take out the AC controls and everything and the radio controls. That's what you're trying to do? I ain't saying any words though, but like, you ain't saying you get the vision, bro, you, if you're in my head with me, bro, you having a blast. That's all I gotta say. Bro. If people are in your head with you. Yeah, you having a blast, bro. Okay. Welcome yeah. to Club Max. Glad to be here in Club Max. All right. Club Max does not seem lit, like, as they say. Stop capping! So you want to take out this screw up here and that screw up there. Make sure you take those out too. And pull out the oh, Be careful in the back. Because you're just going to have some wires. Make sure you don't pull too far out. The best advice I could give you guys. Unplug everything. But remember where everything goes. I don't even know what I'm doing, honestly. So I got the radio removed. And I already cheated and did an extra step. I went and got a little wire. I attached it to the back of the radio. Because what we're going to do is attach this wire to the ground wire for the parking brake in the harness. The harness that we're gonna be using is a smaller harness. It's going to be towards the left side of the car. Oh, that's not, that's the wrong one. It's going to be this wire harness right here. And you can kind of depict yours and compare it to this one, because what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a whole bunch of wires like this, a gap in the middle, followed by more wires. Like if you look at everything else, these don't have any gaps in the middle. This one has gaps all over the place and it's like your biggest one. So it's not this one. It's gonna be your kind of like middle sized harness with a bunch on the left side, a gap. You could probably fit your finger through it and then some more wires. The wire we're looking for is gonna be the red and green wire, which is the parking brake wire. If you wanted to go ahead and just cut and reground all of your red and green wires into this one um, negative wire, you could do so because what's gonna do is it's gonna bypass every parking brake aspect of your car pretty much. If you have to have the parking brake on to, I don't know, add Bluetooth or whatever it is, um, it's just gonna cut all that out and bypass all of it. All I wanna do is be able to play movies on my screen without the parking brake being engaged. And this is exactly the one that you have to cut and ground. That's 
So let's go ahead and do that. everything wired so let's go ahead and test it out okay radio still works thankfully it's on um the aux screen is on let me go ahead and press aux and it, we're good i know we're good because before yep it's on the movie screen so what it would do before it would still remain on oh snap i messed that up Okay, so ba basically it would be on this screen and bro, I need to stop pressing shit. It would have this background instead and it'll pop up a message that says, please press your parking brake um, to go ahead and play videos. But when I do press the aux button now, it's just a black screen, meaning it's looking for feedback from some sort of video, a DVD, or if you have these color cables, it'll look for pretty much a video coming from them but it's glad to know that we're good. So now what I'm gonna do is probably buy a HDMI receiver or something like that so I can go ahead and just stream videos and stuff off of my phone and hopefully that works. But that is exactly how you bypass the parking brake and a 2013 Nissan Maxima. This will work from a 2009 until 2014, but I'm just glad that I did it. I'm gonna go ahead and put my dash together but you already know this be gamma before i head out make sure you drop a like comment subscribe and share my videos for more i have my boy stan helping me out today y'all make sure y'all check out his um instagram page as well his youtube is loading it's coming soon um but for right now it's your boy this be gamma i'm gonna put my radio back together i'm gonna close the hood of my car i'm gonna get the fuck up out of here you already know more to come more to see more to do but for right now Ouch, yeah!